Excuse me. Sir? Under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? I am not! Small world, eh? Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident at Raccoon City on my first day in the Force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? Ashley, I'm coming for you. You know, I was kind of watching that that intro cutscene earlier, and that kind of kind of reveals a lot about the game, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be like a teaser type thing, but. I don't know. Pretty elaborate for a teaser. Yeah. One second, let me just. Still Six talk about years shit. have passed since that horrendous incident. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter that she was abducted. How's the audio level, by the way? I thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission. <laughs> also, yeah, like I haven't. I've only ever played Resident Evil 4 once, really. So I don't know it as well as everyone else does. Oops, hang on. I'm doing the wrong thing. The game could be a little quieter. Yeah, it sounds loud to me, I just wasn't sure. Uh... Order to rescue you. What? My father? Okay, how's that? That's a bit of, what, was, what was the editing just now? All the screens. Okay. Take out anything that might interfere with our plans. Well, hang on. What, what was that weapon? <laughs> Is that even? I don't remember that weapon in the game. I don't know. Is that like an unlockable thing? Anyway, yeah. Um, Evil Four. Yeah, this is the Wii edition. <laughs> um, I guess I kind of felt like playing Resident Evil Four after playing Resident Evil Eight because Resident Evil Eight sort of was just basically taking a lot of cues from Resident Evil Four, and that just made me think, man, I should just play Resident Evil Four again. And so here we are, Resident Evil Four Wii edition. Um, I did actually test it a little bit with my old save, but as you can see, like my old save is like a completed thing, and um, 
the thing is, with like once you've got all the super powerful weapons, the game just kind of becomes really easy because everything dies in one hit. So I'll start a new save because then I won't have all the wacky unlockables. I know it might be neat having exit without loading yet. So I'll just start a brand new game. But yeah, I don't... I mean, if you look in the save file, it says like 20-something hours. Resident Evil 4 is a long game. I don't even remember it being that long. I barely remember much of this, so it might be fun just to revisit this. Thank you. I'm glad you like the Slippy VTuber. <laughs> it's my very low-budget VTuber avatar, which is just an animated GIF. Oh, let's do professional. Maybe that'll up the ante a bit. <laughs> but then again, last time I tried to do like hardcore mode in the other Resident Evil games, I just immediately died. But fuck it. Then again, maybe I should do the professional difficulty with my unlock Asker too late. Select a costume. Oh man, I don't even know what these costumes are. Yeah, because I've already beaten the game, so I guess I've unlocked a bunch of shit. What do you think, chat? Special one or special two? I don't actually know what these are. Also, these won't. Sh I don't believe these show up in cutscenes because they're either pre-rendered or they use like higher versions of the models that don't have the special costumes. Any mini miny mo catch pink my toe fit on the any mini miny mo. Actually, no, that's boring. Let's do special two. Let's see what that's. Like. Um, actually, I don't know. I kind of want to go with normal, but. Uh. Screw it, you know what, we'll just do normal. We'll, we'll go vanilla. Because ha it's been so long since I've played this game, I might as well try and like experience it relatively fresh. So let's go normal. That we had pre-rendered cutscenes, yeah, I suspected as much. Because the, the, I did try it a little bit and the, it. It was the, the costumes then show up in cutscenes, so... In the Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise, like an Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. <laughs> like the Resident Evil the 3 Nemesis FMVs from the PlayStation. <laughs> devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan. To sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. I guess I probably should have seen that coming, huh? <laughs> Gee, maybe like creating super virus zombies isn't good for business. Six years. But that's like an enti entire MO. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Oh, yeah. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. <laughs> it's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. This is exactly what people do in Spain. They listen to like... <laughs> listen to Spanish music. Who would be the client for zombie bioweapons? Um, people who just really, really don't like the fact that right guns are really to easy to use. I would That's prefer like a really elaborate weapon that doesn't make sense. Rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. 
Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Ah, must be my imagination. Famous last words for a Metal Gear <laughs> Solid <Sorry>. God. <laughs> Just my imagination. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Actually, I guess, like kidnapping someone close to the president would be like a good thing for these groups anyway um okay let's see hang on I'm being messaged on the phone I will stop silent that for a bit oh god okay um so Resident Evil 4 Wii edition it has motion controls so yeah you know how everyone's playing Resident Evil 4 in VR I guess most the, the Wii is just basically like the proto version of that Forget your makeup or something? I forgot my, like, hair gel. To keep this excellent 90s boy band haircut in, in good shape at all times. Not that way, cowboy. Yeah, I don't know. VR, this is a bit... I don't know. <laughs> I've heard Resident Evil 4 VR is weirdly censored, but I have no idea. I mean... I mean, I, mean, I guess VR is a nice... It's nice, but, you know, I already have the game with Wiimote controls. That's basically VR. This was like VR back in 2008, or whenever the Wii came out. Uh, excuse me, sir? Does the VR experience really improve? Something like Resident Evil 4. You know, I have seen a little bit of it. It does look interesting to play. I wouldn't say it's like the definitive way to experience Resident Evil 4, but I, I wouldn't mind trying it. Might recognize a girl in this photograph. It's, it's Oculus exclusive though, so... Sorry to have bothered you. Just mod your own VR into Resident Evil 4 with that Freeze. sweet fan HD texture pack. Is it freeze? I guess. I guess HDUs will be good if you got like. Oh god, how do I use this? Oh, kick. Alright, I gotta get used to the controls again. Don't need HD textures here though, this is straight off the Wii. 480p baby! Shit. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Uh, 
Alright, let's see how quickly it takes me to regret choosing professional mode. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. Oh, hang on, take what was away taken. Oh, he's dropped something. Yep. He's not a zombie. No, he's a Spanish person, and that's even worse. Sure, why not? Uh, wait, how? I remember myself. So you waggle, <laughs> you, you aim and waggle to reload. Not today. Uh, hang on, let me remind myself controls. You get quick turn. Yeah, because that's the thing. It, it's easy to forget that this uses the Resident Evil tank controls. Yeah, there's... I guess Waggle's pretty convenient for reloading. I do have the other... There's another Resident Evil game on the Wii called Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, and that uses Waggle to reload. That's just basically a straight-up light gun game, though. Uh, I have House of the Dead 2 and 3 for the Wii. That uses the traditional, like, aim off the screen to reload thing. But, um, yeah. I mean, I guess it works. The only thing about that is, uh... Because of a, no. the, the IR sensor is a little bit finicky, so you end up just reloading all the time with Re uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3. So you kind of have to keep your, your cursor aimed at the screen at all times. But it was sort of similar back with the with an actual light gun as well. Anyway, uh, I guess things aren't looking too good for Leon and his two police buddies. Yeah, there's two rail shooters on the... Uh, I'll just save it here. Yeah, there's Dark Side Chronicles and Umbrella Chronicles. Dark Side Chronicles I actually think is pretty good, if only for like the weird spectacle of seeing Resident Evil 2 remade in 3D. At least that was novel at the time, but now we've got like an actual Resident Evil 2 remake. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to see like a remake of Resident Evil 2 that keeps a bit closer to the art style of the original game, then Dark Side Chronicles is an interesting, like, take on it. And I do like the Code Veronica bits, because it, it updates Code Veronica with, like, modern graphics. Well, modern for the time, because it's Wii. But it updates it with better graphics, but also sort of manages to keep the weird campiness, which I think is kind of impressive, considering how fucking batshit insane do uh, Code Veronica was in the end, you know? <laughs> Whoops. Like I got Wima aiming and I still miss. It makes Code Veronica playable. <laughs> hey, Code Veronica is perfectly playable. It's just uh, a bit wacky. Oh, I can't. I can't suplex. You only unlock the suplex after a certain part, right? Like you don't. You're not able to do the suplex straight away. Maybe I should stream uh, Dark Side Chronicles at some point. Just so we can point and laugh at the Resident Evil stories. Suplex's castle, yeah. Where's th There's a house where like one's just waiting around inside and just immediately hits you. And I'm trying to remember which house that was. It's like a kind of a bullshit, like, fuck you moment. Where's the Span angry Spanish man? There you are. I think one knock-on effect of the Wiimote controls, it makes, does, I was going to say makes the game a little too easy because you can just headshot literally everything immediately. But then I just like got hit, so I don't know. 
Also, this is professional mode, so you've already taken off half my health. So this isn't already looking good. I could very easily die horribly once I get to the village. Shooting crows give money. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you can you can waggle the Wiimote to you can waggle the Wiimote to do a quick swipe, or you can hold the C button and also swipe. But if you hold the C button, that's a more powerful version. But the quick one is less powerful. I don't quite understand how it works. But how much healing do I have? Oh, I've got a full heal. That's all right. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Guess there's no sex discrimination here. He says as he looks as a woman with a pitchfork through her face. Better find her fast. Weirdly inappropriate comment. <laughs> That's just gone for you. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. I missed. Alright. Yeah, again, this is like one of those games that I think a lot of people like know off by heart. They know the entire script and everything because they've played it so much. I'm not one of those people, so... So I'll probably not be like as optimum as a lot of other people are. They'll probably be able to do this next section like extremely efficiently without getting hit a single time. Leon, how you I forgot up? there's snakes and boxes actually. I should probably be careful of that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Playing manual, huh? Playing manual 2. Reloading. Okay, yeah, so this just reminds you how to use the Oh, you can use the control pad to reload as well. So you don't have to waggle. Uh, yep, kicked enemies. I know that. Inventory screen, yep, the pretty simple. Let's play manual one. Shooting down, hold down B, then shoot. Okay. Is that picture from the GameCube game or something? Because it says use the control stick to aim the laser sight, but you're not. You're using the Wiimote. Although I guess you're using the control stick to still turn around and stuff, so I don't know. Um, yeah, swing your knife, action button, action dive, camera, yep, okay, yep. Nice cocks. Well, oh, it's one of the police officers there. Aside from that, it looks like a normal village. Aside from that. But just ignore that and it's perfectly normal. I'll kill the chickens later. <laughs> I know they drop eggs, which are like useful. What up? Oops, I can. Nope, that's not looking good. Already gotta use this baby. Hang on. I 
if I can gather them all up. I guess that works. Yeah, this is basically sort of like the bit where shit gets real, because this is where one tries to kill you immediately. Shotgun upstairs, I'm just sorting out these guys. Uh oh, it's not looking good. Oh, Michael Control! <laughs> this is already turning a bit dicey. I've already warned myself in. Can you reload from the menu? No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't really a lot I could do in that situation. Should have gone upstairs. Combine ammo with gun still works. I'll try that next time. I should have saved the incendiary grenade for that moment. How exactly does this bit work? Does it just after a certain amount of time, or like once you kill a certain amount of people, or what? Because I know it's just a big horde mode until like a certain point. I'll just go straight upstairs. Don't want to. No, stairs are here. Right, that'll be useful. Bed is heavily stained. It seems as if no one slept in it for some time. Right into that. Um. Yeah, that works, right? <laughs> Chickens! Ow. Okay, that was a bit further than I thought it was. <laughs> Ok, 
going to offer you an egg in this trying time. So you can just do this. I don't think you can. Nope, you gotta reload in the game. None of this cheap. That, that, I guess that would be too cheap, really. Mmm, yummy eggs. Oh shit! <laughs> I, I went on this whole spiel about reloading and I forgot to actually do it. I guess, I guess you've got to prepare for a lot of this since this is professional mode. Surprise! It's juicy. I'll take that. The kick is a lifesaver. <laughs> it's like it's the perfect cloud clearing, crowd clearing thing to just like eliminate your foes. All right, I'll, I'll go in there and grab the old. Uh... Grab the old shotgun. I mean, to be fair, I couldn't remember either. I haven't played this game in ages, so like, if I can, if I can find you, whether or not you could combine ammo in the inventory screen. Many small insects are feasting on the leftovers. So long, suckers! <laughs> I love the action pose he does. Ow. Luckily, I have full mega heal. Get ready for a lot of like going into the menu screen too. <laughs> well, hold on, so let me just open my briefcase in the middle of a fight. Oh, hello. I'm bad enough dude to kick the chainsaw man. I'll try. Got him. <laughs> Again, I forget exactly how this ends. Is it just like until you kill a bunch or after a certain amount of time or just survive? Alright. Don't 
mind if I do? I've seen that coming, really. Uh, I guess it's still pretty effective, it's like a tension building moment. Especially with Chainsaw Man running around. Pretty good cloud crowd clearing this. Ow. I'm chewing through these healings. I want to go this way because that's going to be straight into the dead end. So is this actually by the looks of it. I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, have I? Nice. That's surprisingly well, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess he's like dead, dead. Uh, now what? Doesn't this end at some point? I thought there was like a thing that happens. The bingo. When's bingo? <laughs> oh, I had to. That oh, was more people. Okay, they were hiding. Or maybe they spawned. I don't know. I'll just not die by anyone else. Okay, this is going. <laughs> I've used up all my heals. When's bingo? <laughs> When's bingo? <laughs> When does this actually end? <laughs> I keep thinking someone's gonna sneak up on me, but I think these are the last guys. Then again, I'm running out of ammo, I think. Did I take damage from this? I guess not. No one's sneaking up on me, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't have much ammo either. Well... Yeah, I thought that eventually at some point they go like... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, like, this was going on for a lot longer. Maybe it's different on professional mode. Okay, 
Look at all these people that weren't here just now. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> he said it. He said the thing. <laughs> Uno night at Saddler's. Everyone loves that Saddler. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. I gotta say, like... This is, like, a pretty interesting direction to take the Resident Evil series, right? Like, this is completely different from every other game. So, I wonder what sort of convinced them to go this direction. I mean, I guess they were due for a shake-up at some point, but... Especially, like... <laughs> Especially, like, if you've seen, like, what Resident Evil 4 looked like in a beta. Where it was some weird ghost house with supernatural shit in it. And like possessed dolls. There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 was very revolutionary. What seems to be food has started to rot, but no one has bothered to throw it away. Yeah, again. Um, this was pretty revolutionary in and of itself. Even like this over-the-shoulder camera angle ended up influencing a lot of games that came out afterwards. You could even say maybe that Resident Evil 4 was like a standard for games for basically an entire generation because when you think about it, this over-the-shoulder camera angle was kind of what things like Gears of War ended up being. I know, it's not a completely different game. See, I just had a horrible thought where I cracked that open and a snake bites me and because I'm on no health, the snake fucking kills me. <laughs> and it's just like being killed by tiny snake. <laughs> when like, all the other villagers couldn't kill me. Also, let's not forget Devil May Cry was also supposed to be Resident Evil 4 to begin with. <laughs> So obviously something was going on when Resident Evil 4's, like, development where they were just throwing shit at the wall and wondering what would stick. Alert order. Recently there's been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Vittorio's Monday. I can't even. I can't even pretend I know how to pronounce it. Is this is professional mode? Yes. Um, Dante the Cooler Leon. <laughs> yeah. That's how Zinegaz was in an original Final Fantasy VII pitch. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, this is professional mode, so as you can see, I'm not doing very well. Is there anything else I need to f scoot around in here, find some more resources? There's stuff up there, but how do I get to that? I've forgotten now. It's probably like a treasure or some shit. Ah, there we go. Let's spin a little. Spinal, I guess. I don't know. This. Gonna check these houses for more shit.
some kind of liquid is dripping off the table. An unpleasant smell is emanating from it. Everyone wishes Leon was your boy was their boyfriend. He's so dreamy. <laughs> Especially the way he hasn't changed his goddamn nineties boy band haircut ever since the inception of the fucking like Resident Evil series. Chris Redfield, yeah, he changes his appearance, but Leon just looks like the same. He's like some weird nineties boy band time capsule. I know I keep... Because I remember my brother used to have a similar haircut to Leon. It's not exactly the same. He was... Actually, my brother had something more like Steve Burnside from Red of Code Veronica. But that was, again, that's a very sort of... 90s haircut that no one has nowadays. Every, that As soon as the 90s died, that haircut went with it. What in God's name? If only he'd come with me. Well... It was thanks to his proud sacrifice that we didn't get a parking ticket, so be thankful, Leon. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I go in the other way. Played Resident Evil 4 before 2. <laughs> yeah, in Resident Evil 2, he's just like rookie cop who doesn't know what's happening. And now, and then suddenly, between the events of that game and this game, he becomes like, <laughs> like the coolest man in the universe. Yeah, I know there might be snakes. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I don't just heal. Maybe I'm just waiting for a red herb. I've got a perfectly good green herb, I guess. I might as well use it, I guess. Just. Just in case a snake does decide to kill me. I was going to try and jump out, but I realised it's probably a bad idea. Actually, no, wait, you can just dump straight down. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that doesn't... That's not a high jump at all. You can just do that. Or hit a bear trap. Oh yeah, I forgot those exist. Okay, I think we pretty much cleared out this area. You had a nice little breather from this intense action scene just now. The cow seems pretty neat, though. Do you think the cow's infected? I mean, he's not attacking anyone. He just seems pretty chill. <laughs> All's left is chicken. Oh, uh, yeah, chickens. I guess I should murder them for eggs, right? They're delicious, delicious eggs. RE4 Leon gives you the same vibe as Metal Gear Rising Raiden. They're trying really, really hard to be cool while still being Boy Scout doofuses at their core. I guess they are kind of dumb, aren't they? <laughs> My favourite thing in Metal Gear Rising... I don't know... Have you ever had, like... The bit where you fight... Um... God, I've forgotten his name now. Um, it's it's the bit where like, uh, he the bit where you disable, you, um, Jack the Ripper comes back, I guess, where he does the funny voice. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, no, that the bit where he does. He says, like, Doctor, disable my pain inhibitors. Oh, no eggs. Well, that chicken's death was in vain. Yeah, that bit. If you do that fight, and then you call... Um... God, I've forgotten everyone's name now, because it's been so long since I played that. But yeah, you call the person, the, the lady who you saved the game with. And then you choose not to save the game. She's like, why did you call? And he's just like, I forgot. <laughs> and it's just very, very funny.
Nice. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. Yeah, the well. Uh, see, they give you this thing to shoot, but... Don't do that first. You lose the pendant. I guess you can open it again, though. Man, it stinks! It stinks! It stinks! It stinks! <laughs> I mean, that's just Resident Evil, isn't it? They just shrug off bullets to the face. Ooh, golden chicken egg. That's like full heal, isn't it? About the blue medallions. 15 blue medallions. 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more will be rewarded. All right, I guess we gotta look out for the blue medallions. And you just completely ignored all the commotion just now. Yeah, I'm gonna waggle you. Also sells for a bit. Mm, yeah. That might be an option. Monies. Delicious treasure. You. Ooh, that's juicy. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting lucky with these headshots. Is that what the kids are calling it? Waggling, you bet. Well, I guess they were calling it like... I don't know. Maybe it's a decade too late for the term waggle. Okay, so all the kids have moved on to other, like, more hip terms, like... Um... TikToking you or something. I don't know. <laughs> Fortniting, flossing you. That's that's what the kids are doing. Do you parents know what your kids are up to when they say they're flossing? Um, is there anything else in here? I like that guy's. Oh, hang on. The guy I just killed just now didn't even attack me. Like, he was literally just, like, using the pitchfork on the haystacks. He could have just been completely uninfected. He could have just been a regular old farmer. But I just shot him in the head. And his brain and his... He didn't even know I was there. He was immediately dead. Guess i got to watch out for those blue medallions. Woof. 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 Nothing here except a stinking pool of, pool of manure. The cows seem pretty chill about it, too. They don't even move. Bark. Bark. Uh, guess I'll keep any other medallions around.
Why dog run? Why dog run? Come back. I just want to pet doggy. Okay. Uh, any other weird things I've missed? Because that's the thing about like these medallions, and I guess this kind of things in other games as well. I guess Resident Evil 5 did a similar thing. Uh, probably the other, but like it's like the bobbleheads in Resident Evil 7. You just get paranoid that you've missed them if you go past a certain level. And then you just become like hyper fixated on finding every single thing and you just end up scanning for everything. I guess it's to reward exploration. But it also just makes you just feel really, really paranoid about shit. You can check the medallions on your map. Oh shit! <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay, how do I check the map? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> this is what we had to deal with. Oh yeah, they're just on the bloody map. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> See, that waggling was basically like a vast majority. Ow. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> Do I have a red herb? I don't. I might as well use this golden egg, right? Delicious! I do prefer button mashing, yeah, but I mean, I guess waggling is kind of neat in its own way. It depends on how you do it. Isn't this where- yeah, there's trip mines, isn't there? Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 5 has an egg-eating animation. You actually crack the egg open and just shove it in your mouth. You can shoot it out of their hand, I guess, if you're if you're good. I don't know if I got him or not. Yeah, I thought I got him. You can hear them dissolving. Oh, okay. Who threw that one? Who's doing that? <laughs> Cut that out. Let's see if I can hit it. Yeah. <laughs> That's always fun. Pesaters. Any other trip mines anywhere, or did they blow them all up? Guess I should be careful. Hmm. 
when do I get the dynamite sticks? Doors nailed shut. No clues here. Hang on, is there a button for the map? That's inventory. I know there's like, isn't there a quick button for map? Or That's right, number one on the, the Wiimote. Uh, okay. What's that thumping noise? I like the save music because like it reminds me of the Dark Souls main menu theme. <laughs> or rather the Dark Souls main menu theme reminds me of that music. I always thought it was very very similar for some reason. Ah, Spanish person. My CQC was ineffective. <laughs> okay, well, on to the next chapter. Actually, thinking about it, humans. this is laid out a little bit like... The whole chapter system reminds me a little bit of Devil May Cry. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. You seen her? <laughs> what, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. 
Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I mean, I bleed you for a sec. The villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Well, that's basically great. Leon. Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you. Now! Waggle! There are a number of Resident Evil characters I feel like they should bring back. Lewis is probably one of them. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? Love track. Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. <laughs> I'm heading back to the village. I know it might be hard to do, but damn it, they should do it anyway. <laughs> I think Sheva should come back as well from Resident Evil 5. She's horribly underrated. Um, Billy Cohen, I guess, maybe? From Resident Evil 0? Over here, stranger. Oh. Here comes the local dealer. <laughs> Who else appeared in Resident Evil games that I haven't brought back yet? They should have bring back Wesker with that explanation, yeah. Maybe. I wonder if they regret killing him off. He's basically the best villain they've ever had. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how there's no explanation for this guy either. He just shows up and it just decides to sell you shit and it's like, alright. <laughs> Bring the merchant back? Yeah, maybe. What are you buying? Um, hmm. What should I get? Oh, right, let's uh, sell some stuff. I got some treasures earlier. Is that all straight? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? I guess no touch A case might be good. Jake, he's the Wesker Jr., right? <laughs> he was like Wesker's son or something, and he had Wesker powers of some. He could do like mage, like kung fu and stuff. Yeah, he could come back. Stranger? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Somehow Wesker returned. <laughs> God, imagine if they didn't bring him back. That would be like 
<laughs> It'd be good. funny and also just kind of messed up. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, treasure map. Is yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Hmm. I guess I want. Oh cash, yeah. Stranger. I'll do it next time then. Anyway, thank you very much, random merchant man who did allow to show up. Don't mind if I do. Or maybe I should have bought a heal. Oh well. I don't... If they bring in cloning for Resident Evil, I think that would just open some kind of bizarre Pandora's box of, like, Resident Evil characters who will always come back. I mean, when you think about it, Chris Redfield, even though he's still in the games, is pretty old now. So, like, they could very easily just clone him and make him be in the games forever. Oh, yeah, they did clone... I haven't... I can't even remember what the fuck happened in Resident Evil 6. But, yeah, they all, they did clone Ada in Resident Evil 6, didn't they? There was something with her. Uh, just fucking clone everyone, then. Just... They can... Clone... Alright, what is it? Who else? I don't even know how that happened. Oh shit, the dynamite, yeah, that's why. Ow, my face. I should probably move out of here. already going horribly wrong. Uh, ow. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, that guy just killed himself. GC. <laughs> I'm getting lucky with these. Oh, 
Well, this is one thing that doesn't use the motion aiming. Uh, nice. <laughs> I love a kick that just causes a, someone's head to fucking explode. Waggle. There we go. I know I should heal, but I kind of I'm kind of hoping out for a red herb. <laughs> I guess that's the... Uh... Oh, it's not a red herb, but... Where'd that come from? It is kind of funny, like, how often you just have to pause the game to open the inventory menu. I mean, it's not as disruptive as you think it is. It does break... It is kind of funny that you have to keep pausing the game every five seconds every single time you want to load something. I think that locker can be opened. I'll go back and check it then. Yeah, I think this is what Resident Evil 8 was missing. The ability to just kick or suplex your opponents. <laughs> It'd be a good sub count thing. I can't imagine anything more annoying than hearing that like every single time someone... 
I mean, funny, I guess, but... How do I get up there? He's dropped an item. Oh, it's a ladder. Let's go up there, then. Yeah, I mean, like... Chris Redfield taught, um... Ethan combat powers. Uh, yeah, my health is on a sliver. I have, like, w I have a herb, but I'm, like, waiting out for a red herb because I'm hoping I can get a full heal. Or maybe that's just the wrong, wrong way of thinking about it. Maybe I should just be... Got him. All right, we're good. We're all good. Now watch as I, I <laughs> watch as I break open a box and a like a fucking snake kills me. Snake, snake. Alright, I need to find the other half of this emblem, I guess. And I guess I need to check that locker as well. Let's have a look. Let's go back to that house. Yeah, you can't climb down the ladder. You have to sort of knock it down first and then and then jump down it. Um Oh yeah. Won't say no to a flash grenade. Now that everything's cleared out, this is the bit where you can relax and just scavenge every single house for items. Although, I guess there's not many houses here. Please be a red herb somewhere. <laughs> oh, I've got money. Uh, yellow herb. Yeah, I guess that works. Although, I kind of want the red herb too. I guess I can go back to the merchant as well to spend that money. I still need to find the other half of the thing. Where's the... I need the other half of the thingy-majig. Oh well, <clears throat> and I guess start, time to start looking. Looks like it's up there. I like how there's all these explosive barrels and I use none of them. Weirdly ominous, you found an item sound. Let's go back to the merchant, see if he's got anything good for us. I might upgrade the handgun. Since it's the weapon I use the most often. Let's see if he's got like a heal or anything. Hello. Welcome. What are you buying? First aid spray. Yeah, you know what? Is that all, stranger? I'll use that. <laughs> I should probably take that. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll tune what up. You handgun. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Slightly more powerful. Come back anytime. Now I can finally 
Hiyo. Finally, <laughs> finally, he has some actual health. I went through that pretty much that entire fight sequence without, <laughs> with no health. <laughs> so I guess I did a relatively decent job, all things considered. <laughs> Very stressed, yeah. <laughs> it is one of those things. It's what I would sort of ignorantly call an OCD tendency. <laughs> we just kind of like, please, for the love of God, stop doing that. At some point, though, in this playthrough, I probably will get killed by a fucking snake with the way I play. <laughs> I deliberately not use the health until I absolutely need it. Hang on. Uh, anything else here? and quiet in here. Almost too quiet. Oh. Yeah, I remember this is one of the things people were talking about, the Wii version, is that using the Wiimote kind of makes getting headshots very easy. And that kind of... I don't know if that affects the balance or not. I'd still say it's pretty challenging. I wouldn't say it makes the game trivial, but it does definitely make things a bit easier. Especially if you're not necessarily used to using the stick. How does professional actually, does professional mode actually change up the way the game plays? Does it change the number of enemies or is it more like just damage numbers? Oh god. Did you not die? I thought the thing exploded on you. Should I just wait for him to come to me since they seem like they got this place pretty much covered? Professional removes the difficulty adjustment for dying and makes enemies more aggressive. Okay, so it's not just like they do more damage to you. I guess he'll just climb over. I guess he just won't come over here at all. He's just stuck in the door. Come on. I guess he'll just climb over the sandbags rather than walk on the... <laughs> I guess that makes more sense. Oh, right. <laughs> Damn. Hey, how come he didn't get triggered by any of that shit? <laughs>
guess I can't just. I guess I can't just grab it from the fire. Waggle. Oh, I guess I can. I thought I had to like turn off the fire. Oh, I guess the correct term is put out the fire. <laughs> American sensitive bear traps. This with like Spanish ingenuity. I guess I could spare one green herb. Slash your shins, and there's nothing you can do about it. Fish. See, this seems like it would have been a prime place to put a bear trap where you can't see it. Maybe I should just use the gun. <laughs> uh oh. I'm encountering issues. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> it begins. This is a sort of game in itself, isn't it? Restores health completely. Can't really pass that up. Oh. God damn. See, this was the thing about Resident Evil 8 that got me a little bit, is that it has the same attache K system, but you don't really use it as much. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I spent all that time trying to rearrange space, and I just accidentally ate the thing. Oh, whatever. Oh, fine, I'll just get the smaller fish. Did I not hit it? <laughs> Whatever. Lots of small fish I find too. <laughs> Couldn't fit in the case, but it fits in my mouth. Uh, I guess that's it. There we go, we've eradicated the population of the fish. And we've got lots of healing, so in the event that I end up getting hit a lot more. 
which inevitably will happen, and uh, everything's fine. Now this now this village will starve. Thank you for the bullets, bird. <laughs> Ooh. Yunk. I thought the bird was going to fly into the trap for a moment and just fucking explode with me. Check. Does this signpost mean more booby traps? I feel like I should have found more blue Bernadians by now. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way will you turn it? Uh... brain-busting puzzle that was. Oh. Chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement. Alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't, I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface. If they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility. But what if a prowler is already amongst us? Then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy it at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his in judgment as always. Mucho pesetas amongst us. Yes, I, I did notice that. Carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Do, do a lot of people not read the notes? <laughs> I mean, I guess some. I mean, sometimes you just skim it if you've played it a million times before. So I'm gonna be honest. Like he kind of, <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 now because of the trench coat. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might most help people you. don't really fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? That's a mouthful. 
Anyway, I had an <laughs> unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. A herb. How's my inventory looking? It's, it's full of fish. Just empty out their attaché case and it's just all these fish fall out. This must be a painting of that church. I hope Ashley's still okay. Looks like people in this house eat like normal humans. Uh, I've literally just saved, so I don't need to do that. Painting of a lake. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Ask him why he's called the Big Cheese. <laughs> I don't... Is he actually called the Big Cheese? I thought that was just a nickname that Lewis gave him. It's like Mr. X. Mr. X isn't actually his name, it's just what Leon decided to call him in Resident Evil 2. Ooh, an egg. Like, <laughs> dinner's ready, one tiny egg in the oven. That's how you cook an egg, right? You just bake it. Mm, don't you like your eggs baked? I thought that was a door, that's just a wall. Oh, snap! I've got a lot of shit here, I'm not afraid to use it. Roast egg. I don't even know how that hit the guy behind me. <laughs> That's a very generous spread on that shotgun. Hello, welcome to the stream. Eh. Eh. Gonna waggle your bum. That's the, the Wii before you. I guess I'm slightly hurt, so, uh, what was this? I guess it's like partial heal. So let's eat a fish. Rich in Omega-3, presumably. Actually, I don't know. I, think, I know some fish have it. Hello. That's just her saying hello. Aha, just what I needed. Now I can make super heal. That'll be handy in a bit. And my attache case is already full to bursting. Still no snake. Is it random? Or is it set boxes that have snakes? Ooh, that was lucky. 
<laughs> I do like when they like take a moment to register the fact that they've been shot in the face. Ow. Damn it. What the? Oh, it's a, there's a tree blocking it. <laughs> what? Fucking the headless guy grabbed me. Yeah, it's random. Okay, so I guess it's just a random chance that a snake, snake just might fuck me up. Uh, I'll eat the fish. Nom nom nom. I guess I might as well eat the fish when I can to free up the inventory space because they're quite big. Alright, back into the village square. to reload my shotgun. This is probably one of the most satisfying video game shotguns, I gotta admit. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there. There's a good competition of video game shotguns that are great, and this is like on the top level. Team Fortress 2 shotgun. I wouldn't. S it's certainly useful. It's surprisingly a useful weapon. Like, sometimes people overlook the shotgun. I think, in Team Fortress 2. Alright, time to eat another fish. Actually, I'll be alright. Because I, I do have the mega yellow heel. Uh, ooh, an egg. A golden egg. Nice. Alright, who, who, who's throwing silly buggers at me? You! That's what you get! Uh, I guess he's in Signa Key. Um, let's have a look on... Okay, so there's lots of medallions down there. I'm just checking, making sure I don't miss stuff. It's very easy to miss stuff. There's still enemies around? Oh, yeah, up there. I guess there's no reason to shoot him. He ain't doing anything to me. But, you know, why not? Well, he can hang out without a head. I used a key on a door. That's basically Resident Evil puzzles. <laughs> See, it's still a Resident Evil game, guys. Don't worry. Despite the fact that it's completely different from any other Resident Evil game beforehand, we remember to put in the puzzles where you put a square, square key into a square hole. in here? No, I guess not. I'll probably do maybe the end of this chapter and then, then maybe call it a night for the stream. Why did I do that? Why did I fucking do that? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. It was just red, I just thought it was interactable. <laughs> Perhaps I will... Well, still no snakes. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of... Any knock of the blue medallions? Yeah, not yet. I'm what going to the next selling? section. Uh, I've got some stuff. Um, none of these are things that have to be combined, right? I think it normally tells you if it needs to be combined with something. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. All right, how much was the egg? Well, egg's only 3,000. Actually, yeah, 3,000 not a bad amount. But it's also a heal, so I'll keep hold of it. Ah, I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I guess I... Uh, what have we got to buy? It? I guess... I'd like the TMP, but no space. I should probably hold off on it for now. What are you I'll just buying? upgrade what I have right now. Uh, so I will increase shotgun Is power. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the rifle's already powerful enough as it is. Maybe handgun ability. Again, this is like my trusty thing, so... Uh, yeah, Is that all? That. <laughs> Thank you. Is that, <laughs> Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, not much space. I would have liked the TMP, but it ain't fitting in here. Anyway, you continue to sit here and hang out in the <laughs> fucking cave. That's where I came from. Oh no, hang on. I got one box of TMP ammo. But yeah, there's not much. Uh... Okay. This doesn't look like it combines with anything. So I guess I'll just sell it. Oh, hang on, what's this? Welcome. Actually, what something I, I was going to mention about Resident Evil selling? 8. Resident Evil 8 also has a merchant-like character that in that game. <laughs> Thank you. That merchant character actually gets involved with the story, though, so uh, I wonder if... I'll buy it at a high price. It's weird that they don't actually explain that guy's motivation. He's just some mystery guy. <laughs> Thank you. Who just sells your Come stuff. Back the Duke. The Duke in Resident Evil 8. He's pretty cool. And I guess he's a little bit of a callback to this guy as well. But again, he actually is involved in the story. Like, he seems to have an agenda of his own, which is a pretty interesting way of going about it. I wouldn't surprise if he did come up in other games, considering he did seem to have a, a, a hand in the story. That guy was very offended I shot the bird. I shouldn't have done that, really. I've probably, like, angered people. <laughs> Animal rights activists. No, you don't. Okay, I thought there was a guy right behind me. It sounded like he was very close. Oh, 
Oh. Well, he still managed to catch up on me. But yeah, maybe he'll come back, the Duke. Still no snakes. Maybe... This one's a snake! Okay. <laughs> that, that snake's gonna come out when I... Eventually. He'll be all like... Come back. Oh, I don't know why I did that, really. <laughs> I know they drop items and stuff, but you. Maybe they're different for all the graves. Okay. The villagers will be displeased if you shoot the church bell, really? There's a lot I missed in the farm, actually. There's a lot of um, medallions I missed in the farm. Maybe it would be worth going back there sometime. I forget if you, how much backtracking there is in this game, but... I had to keep uh, remember that to come back to that. Hello. Does headshots actually do more damage, or is it just more like the stun and the chance for critical hits? Because someone told me in Resident Evil 3 Remake, you can shoot them in the head, and but the only reason to do that is to for the critical chance of their head exploding. Like apparently shooting them in the head does no extra damage for the zombies in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Which is a little bit odd, and the game's kind of bad at explaining that. I do like the idea that the birds just have random weapons and stuff on them. Alright, so some more on the path ahead. I think I need an item for this door, I believe. One open, there's a round hole. Oh. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked, I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? That's Jill's job. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Why did Leon even call Hannigan? What was she going to do about it? <laughs> you know, like... It's like, oh, it's okay, Leon. I have the key. Like, what... <laughs> Oh god. See, that was your own fault. I didn't even, like... <laughs> I didn't even make you throw it at yourself. Uh, three family insignitors of the dead ringers. It looks like the dial only turns clockwise in either three or four increments. Um... Uh, yeah. Puzzles... I forget. He just wanted an excuse to talk to her, I guess, so. Must get lonely. Right. I guess this is where I look at the... Actually... <laughs> I 
Okay, I was expecting a bit more than that. Ow. Time's a good time to use this. Satisfying. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Just appeared in the screen. <laughs> you see, waggling the Wii remote is immersive. It's not really. <laughs> I guess it was immersive for the time. Now we know better. Still one more in this bridge. Ah, there you are. Aha, now I've got enough for the special prize. Uh, snake's gonna be here. It's uh, I knew it. Fucking. <laughs> Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Lewis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. What Lewis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. You must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake. But it should be safe now that El La uh, sorry now that the Del Largo has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll just be a it'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there'll be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. The Lago Taco. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the Wiimote sounds through the microphone. I don't know if, there's, if it's picking that up, but I forget that the Wiimote has a speaker on it and it makes noises when I reload. Try again, hang on. I don't know if that came across. Just just reload noises. It's just for added immersion. Even though the sound comes through the PC speakers as well. Like <laughs> this comes through the game speakers and it also comes out the remote, so it does a bit of both. I should I keep forgetting that I've already forgotten. I'm wondering if I should go back to the, the farm place, because I could technically backtrack to the farm and get those medallions. But I do have enough for the prize. Maybe getting all 15 gets me something even better, I don't know. Alright, let's have a look at this puzzle. So there's... Twins must be buried. So, I guess you just use the, the twin ones because these are a bit unique. They're the unique ones. So you got M. 
V. And S. Um, does it cost money? I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> this might be one of those things where it's like, congratulations, you win this gun that you can all that you have to buy. <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's M, S, and V, but I need to find a way of getting to it by only using three or four increments. Um, oh, wrong way. Or is it? No, I've always screwed this up. Oh god. Oh god. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Oh god. Brain! Figuring out how to get to the M, really. You know what? I'm going to take a quick toilet break for a second, and you can stare at this screen that I'm <laughs> scream at me for not solving this puzzle for a while longer. So be back. Um. Right now, let's get back to solving this puzzle, <laughs> or not? I did. Yes, I did. Wash my hands. It wasn't like a big toilet break; it was a very quick one. Also, my my bathroom was literally like next doors, so that's why it was so quick. <laughs> Oh god. No. Okay. Hang on, let's reset this. So... I need to... So I can get to this, the V quite easily. Then this. It's where to go from here. Because <laughs> I know I have to activate others and then deactivate the rest. Um... I 
so I, I won't do three because obviously that would just deactivate that one. It'll have to be that. And then... Oh, damn it. No, I'm just going in circles now. Hmm. I think what I need to do... Right, so that's that. Did it! Green cat's eye. Right, okay, so that's that treasure found. I'm now. Go I guess I should just go back and uh, see if I can. Oh, hang on, there's still another. Hang on, there's still another medallion I haven't got. Might as well. Might as well get all 15 medallions since I do. I can do it. There we go. Okay. Uh, I guess. How far is it back to the farm? I guess I gotta go all the way back. Yeah, okay. So I'll just take a short commute back to the town. I'm sure Ashley's still perfectly fine. No rush or anything. Welcome. Let's see what he's got for us. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Well done, stranger. I see you shot. I see you shot enough a number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. What are you buying, Punisher? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, I guess I don't need to... If I buy this, I don't need the... The handgun, right? Or is this like a trick where this is actually a shit gun? Oh, it must be something special, right? I guess I can just sell it. This counts as selling, right? I'm not just discarding this. <laughs> hang on. I better make... Sp I'll, I'll keep... Hang on. I'll make space. No, I don't want to discard. No, 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 no. I might as well sell it. Punisher bullets penetrate enemies. Yeah, that seems like a good... That seems like a good thing. But is that 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 means that I can just sell this handgun then? <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? Why not? I'll just Thank focus on you. that. What are you and then I'll tune up the... Oh, I can't tune it up. Well, whatever. What are you <laughs> I guess that's just my thing now. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll tune it up buying? later. Because it looks like you have the option what to, like... You, selling? you know, up the thing later. Okay. Come back. Ain't 
time. Well, let's go back and uh, collect those medallions. So let's look at these one there. Huh. Oh, an egg. Don't mind if I do. There you are. And two more. I saw the wheel, I didn't even notice that. And the last one is right by the door, apparently. Right, that's all 15. Do I get anything for that? Let's find out! Back we go! Ooh, another egg. Don't mind if I do, chickens! It is kind of no funny, actually, yeah, like, even going in between levels and having that weird zoomy effect is very similar to Devil May Cry. And considering Devil May Cry came before this one and was originally the Resident Evil 4, it's kind of interesting. Always there. It's very easy to miss those things. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Mm, doesn't look like he's got anything else. I guess that was no need for it. What are you buying? What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Uh, actually, I'll hold on to that for now. What are you buying? What are you selling? Well, at least I got it all. That's from the non-existent achievement for Is collecting all, all the blue, <laughs> all the blue medallions. <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Right, 
now we can continue the game. <laughs> yeah, I know the cat's eye goes into something else. The game does actually, if you examine it, it tells you. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm keeping the cat's eye. I've got my eye on it. I wonder if I'm going to regret selling the handgun for this. But I mean, hey, bullet pen penetration is always good. You did not run. You will regret your decision. <laughs> I wonder why that could be. I thought these were like dead birds on the floor for a moment. I thought, but no, this is the texture of like the twigs and the the wood bits. My feet are the strongest weapon, second only to Duke Nukem's mighty boot. Does he say anything if I interact with this door with the noise coming out of it? It looks like the gate's securely shut. Wait, I hear something growling on the other side. Well, good thing it's shut. Nothing bad could possibly happen from it. It's like another save in Merchant Room right here. Hang on. Nothing. Well, might as well. I mean, the game's pretty generous with checkpoints, right? I don't actually have to save every single time, but... Oh, look. <laughs> this is like the first time he's in an actual shop. Got some rare thing. What are you buying? Ah, uh, now I can upgrade the Punisher. Is that... <laughs> is that... <laughs> Why not? There's fish, but I can't go to them, right? If only I could actually, like, have a little fishing mini game. Resident Evil 4 needs a fishing mini game. I mean, <laughs> so many games have one in there. You might as well just have Resident Evil 4 have one as well. Yoink. Oops. Uh, how am I for infantry space? Not great, but you know, that's fine. I got, that just means I'm fully stocked. Uh-oh. Time for waggling! All this masturbation paid off!
was the, that was the Wii era. I guess Nintendo. I mean, guess with now with the Switch, you don't really get that anymore, right? I mean, for the Wii and Wii U, you always had some kind of weird gimmick. Come on. Thank you very much. <laughs> You mean you didn't like jerking off the, the sword with the, no more heroes in order to charge it every five seconds? Oh, that was close. You almost got me. I guess you after a while it just gets tiresome. <laughs> it is, a, there, I mean, there are times where the waggle does kind of feel pretty good. Like I know it's kind of a gimmick. Oh, not again! Damn it! I should have just kept swinging, really. Damn snakes. Yeah, I don't know, there's time when it's like, motion controls are fun. I think they're pretty done pretty well in this game. I mean, aside from maybe like the running bit, swinging your knife with the waggle is pretty fun. Just a flick, little quick flick of the wrist to reload. That's fine. You know, I don't have any issues with that. There's nothing precise about it. It's all like just relatively simple controls. And there is a kind of a nice tactile feel to reload in by, sh by shaking the Wiimote. I know it's not exactly like manually reloading in with VR controls like Half-Life Alex, But there is a neat little tactile sensation to doing that. It's when, I guess, like bad motion controls is when they make you do it for long periods of time, I guess. I'm trying to think of like an example. I guess something like... Uh, maybe something like Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii where you had to waggle to do the roll attack. And so if you wanted to like roll a lot, you just had to keep shaking the Wiimote. And it got a bit annoying. <laughs> I think I remember my this bit for my first playthrough actually, because I remember there's a bit here where you can kind of see, I don't know if I can recreate it, but like, if you stand on a certain bit, you can kind of see... Um, ...where the enemy spawn from, and there's like a weird little effect for it. Oh, I'm nearly dead. But, uh, heal up. Good thing I've got a lot of heals. Yeah, the grab eats up my health a lot. Even even when you do the shake off, it still hurts. I guess that might be partly due to um, hardcore mode, though, uh, professional mode. Snake. The snake was carrying a chicken egg. Damn, Neon's got a great kick. He just like covers such a wide area. I 
I'm running. Oh shit. I'm running low on pistol ammo. <laughs> His thighs should be huge. Okay. No. Oh, the flat. I thought the flashing was for my ammo. It's for my health. That's that's why it's flashing yellow. He never learned how to pick locks. He just learned how to kick really good. <laughs> Leon Thunder Thighs Kennedy. Hunnigan, I'm trying to rescue the president's daughter, but I'm dummy thick, and I keep alerting the Monado. I think these enemies keep respawning. Just want to just keep pressing on. Because I know, I, I do know they respawn, but yeah, they do. Ooh. The, the juicy head explosion kicks. Okay, yeah, they're stopped now. Is there going to be a snake in here? Yes, there is! I'll take your... Oops, I'll take your... I'll just eat it. Yeah, again, I don't... I know I don't really remember much of this game. Oh, another snake. Another snake. Ooh, a golden one. Snake or Leon. Um Snake would probably win if he gets a surprise attack. Leon would win because he gets more girls and Snake would get owned. And <laughs> it depends what kind of combat they're in, I don't know. Snake has friends to help him. I guess he's got a whole team, right? He's got intel and shit. Uh oh. Running out of space. Ah. The fish beckons to be eaten uh, later. I'm literally out of space. Like, <laughs> all right. You know what? I guess I could. There is one cube of space in my inventory. I guess I could just leave it. I don't think rotating the grenade would help, actually. I think I'm pretty much full. I mean, I could have a look. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's two. I didn't see the other cube. A square, rather. It's not a cube. It's a two-dimensional space. Again, there's no need to do this. I've got enough healing as it is. But, you know. Oh. Got a barrel. Uh -huh. Is there anything else I missed before I go in this? Hang on. There's a thing on the map, a star. I think there's a treasure. Maybe. 
What is it? What even is that? Is that a bird nest? It's hard to tell with these low-resolution graphics. <laughs> yeah, it's bird nest. All right, <laughs> so they just had that in there. Go fishing with... No, I know exactly what... Actually, I guess I just saved. I guess I could. I want to see what's in this direction. That's a big boy. Okay, I guess we can go and enjoy going into that lake with the giant fucking fish. Alright, well... I'll just, um... I just saved the game. And then I will just, for no reason at all. Ah, yes, look, look at these fish jumping about. I will shoot the fish. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I do like that they fit that in though. <laughs> it's just like a surprise motherfucker thing if you decide to shoot the fish. <laughs> um Yeah, <laughs> basically don't shoot the fish. <laughs> Not in here anyway. I don't, there is the other, like, lake or river bit with fish in the thing, but there's not really much point in shooting them because you can't pick up the fish anyway. You can't go into the water and swim about. Is this the yeah, this is the motion control bit. No. Good thing there's m infinite harpoons on this thing. Time to waggle. <laughs> Time to waggle. I don't think it's gonna make it. Or am I? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. <laughs>
I do wonder why Leon chooses to use harpoons when, I don't know, I figured his guns might work a bit better, maybe. But I guess if he's there... I forget, is there a way of actually avoiding those, or do you just gotta, like... Just gotta hit him or something. This ain't happening. <laughs> steer boat. Yeah, I forget you can actually steer the boat. Again. Yeah. Well, went the complete wrong direction. Okay, now I've got the hang of it. A million of these things. Whoops. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Clearly, I got to waggle harder. How's my wrists? It's doing great. <laughs> I'm gonna have like carpal tunnel syndrome by the time this stream's over. <laughs> if you have no health, it's just oh, it's, it depends on your health, I guess, right? Close. 
Eat it. Eat it. He was fine with those first 50 harpoons. But one extra harpoon was enough to take him down. <laughs> Michael! Cut, damn it, cut! <laughs> Good news is we can now go back to shooting those fish in peace. Nature is restored. Yeah, I'll get seasick too, buddy. Game over. Okay, well, I think that's a good time to uh, end the stream there. That was pretty fun. <laughs> it's nice revisiting a game I haven't played in like literal years and sort of re-experiencing this in sort of a pretty much fresh, a fresh light. So yeah, that's uh, thanks for turning up for the stream. I will, I guess I'll watch this cutscene if it's going to play out. Another one of typical Friday night for Leon. Okay, this is a typical Friday night for Leon. That's what happen that's how it happens to me if I waggle the Wiimote too much. My hands! Ah! Six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, <laughs> I started to feel dizzy and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Okay. Well, we'll end the stream there, and I'll continue this some other time, I guess. So, thanks for turning up, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, complete with Wiimote controls. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when I stream this again. I always never really plan these things. I just think, hey, I feel like playing a game, and I'll stream it, and then that's usually what happens. So, yeah. Next, when that happens, I'll let you know on Twitter or whenever, or I guess Twitch notifies you when it happens. So yeah, thanks for turning up, everyone. I'll catch you guys next time. Toodaloo!